Hi, in this video we are going to see how to um, use if else if statements, conditional statements in Python. And we are going to use the example where we are going to read a score from the user and calculate the letter grade based on that score. So if the score is between 90 and 100, then they get an A. If their score is between 80 and um, less than 90, then they get a B, and so on and so forth. So let's read the score from the user, and we will use that to figure out the letter grade. So I have some comments here that says calculate the letter grade based on the user's score, read a score from the user, and use if else if statements to find the letter grade. So let's say score equals, and again we convert our data to an int type when we read from the user. So input, and you can always use a float if you would like, and we would still be able to do the same thing. Input, say please enter your score and close parenthesis and so we read score from the user and based on that score let's now figure out our letter grade which we will call grade so we say if um, score greater than or equal to 90 and we use the um, the logical AND operator to make sure that score is between 90 and 100. So greater than or equal to 90 and score less than or equal to 100. Then a colon, so notice we use IF and then the condition followed by a colon and you hit enter and it automatically indents the editor telling us that's where we are going to have whatever statement it is based on that condition. So I say grade equals, and within single quote, the letter A. Then we go on to do L if is the syntax for else if. And I'm going to copy this. We can copy that or you can retype it to say if the score is between greater than or equal to 80, and now we say just less than or equal to, or less than 90, not less than or equal to, score less than a 90. So we don't want to do 90 in both. So if they get a 90, we don't want it to say A and B. If it's 90, then it's an A. If it is less than 90, then grade equals B, the character B. And we do a few more L ifs like that, L if. Um, score greater than, let me put grade equals C, greater than score is greater than or equal to 70, if it is between 70 and if it is less than 80, then it is a C. And the last one says if grade is greater than or equal to zero and less than 70 then grade equals F. If you want you can have a D in between between 60 and 70. Now we need to catch all the illegal scores anything greater than 100 and less than 0. So there's a final else that says if it is anything other than that, then you print illegal grade. And then finally, once all the conditions are done, we print our letter grade to the user. And that would be that variable grade so you say print your grade is and you print that grade. So that's it. Now let's see how this works. So we save this. I called it as my sample A04 because this is like your assignment number four. Then we run and run module. And it says, please enter your score. Let's enter 67. It says your grade is F. Let's run a couple of more times and do some checks. 
So if you enter 98, it says it's an A. So it's working good for the most part. Now if we enter something like 103, it says illegal grade. But we also get an error message here. Anything that says trace back in the red like this is some kind of an error message. So it prints illegal grade. Then it tries to come here and print our grade. But notice, in case of this last condition, grade has not been set to anything. So it says grade is not defined. So it's not a very nice way of ending the program. So this statement, this last statement, can get executed only if we have a valid grade in here. Now, you could always do some quick uh, fixes, like if it is an illegal grade, you can say grade equals, I don't know, some character. But instead of that, to make it nice, we could have a flag. We'll call it flag. I will initialize flag to true, let's say. So I put the string true inside single quote. Now, for some reason, if it was an illegal grade, here's what we could do. We could set that flag equals false. OK, so set the flag equals false. I say true or false because it makes a little bit more sense. Now, you can always set the string to anything that makes sense to you. Because what we're going to do is we're going to come here, and we're going to print only if our flag is true. If our flag is false, then we're not going to print anything because we already have a message that prints illegal grade and we don't need to print anything beyond that. But if it is not an illegal grade, then we would like to print our grade. So if your flag is true, that means we haven't come to this last else where the grade is illegal and it has not been set to false and we can print the grade safely. If flag has been set to false, then this condition is not true and it's not going to print our grade statement. So it's, it's a way of um, using what we call Boolean variables and um, trying to end our program elegantly than using quick fixes or getting error messages. So now if I enter 96, we get a good grade. What if I enter 102, it says illegal grade and it ends nicely. It doesn't give us any more messages other than that. You can put in a negative number and should say the same thing. So this video showed you how to do if else if statements, um, essentially conditional statements that you can use um, to interrupt your sequential flow and go in whatever direction you want to.